Let's go. Arrest me. I don't want to play it either. Arrest me. So I'm not on private property. I'm you need to go you. look at the map. This is the road. That's the land. That's private property. You guys are a joke. Why are you going in my pockets? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story features Delaware Defender, who on October 27th of 2020 was gathering footage and other content for a documentary he was producing about factory farming and the negative effects that being disconnected to your food sources have on society. This project led him to Amic Farms, which is owned by OSI Group, one of the largest privately held companies in the United States according to Forbes. In the video, you can make out a path along the property's fence line, and prior to his filming, Delaware Defender observed members of the general public walking on the dirt path without issue. Prior to his arrival, he also checked the county's GIS maps and noted that the property extends almost to the street, so he made it a point to remain on the public easement. Not long after his arrival, Officer Lee of the Herlock Police Department arrives on scene. Police are on scene. Here we go. Is he gonna block the road? What's up, man? Just getting some pictures. Yeah. I'm just working on a little news story. Huh? I'm just working on a little news story. News story? About the health and food industry and stuff, yeah. Okay. That's all. Work for a company or? No, I'm just independent. Just independent. trying to get my own thing going. Okay. I just had someone call in saying you bought it out with a camera, that's all. I'm sure. I'm surprised. No one even came out, so I'm surprised. Usually they'll come out and harass me for a little bit before they call you guys. Yeah. But. They might sooner or later. <laughs> They might, yeah, I don't know, so. Okay. All right. Take note that no one has asked him to leave prior to Officer Lee's arrival. This becomes important later. You're good, man. What's your name? I'm not giving any ID today. No ID? Nah, you're good, man. All right. Appreciate it, man. What was your name? Officer Lee. Lee, thank you, sir. You have to stay safe. Don't get hit on the corner. That's why I try to wear this vest, man. It helps out a little bit. Officer Lee leaves without issue, and Delaware Defender continues down the public easement, taking pictures. A few moments later, Corporal Garvey arrives on scene. What, did Lee not do a good enough job? What's that? Did Lee already responded out here. He gave me on private property videotape. What's that sticker say on it? Yeah, that's the Department of Transportation. Well, yeah, the state of Maryland put this here. Yeah, well, this here is private property. This Not where I'm standing, dude. Yes, it is. You got an idea on you? Let's go. Arrest me. No, I'm telling you just to... Arrest me. I'm not, because I'm not... A, this is this is a public street sign. Look at it. You're ridiculous. Once again, by observing his location and then checking the GIS map, it is clear that where Delaware Defender is standing is public property. But Corporal Garvey continues his incorrect assertions that it is private. Lee was perfect. You just ruined it for you guys. You just ruined it. Garvey, you have a badge number? Yeah, 0142. Why did you ruin it? You got an idea? Lee, I'm not giving it to you. Yeah. I'm not trespassing. Yeah, you're on private property, buddy. This is a street sign. Yeah, we're not it's public that. property. They don't play, I don't want to play it either. Arrest me. I'm asking you for your identification. Come on. I'm not going to resist you at all. I'm not giving it to you. I'll give it to you at the station. I want you to do I want you to take it all the way. You think you're a bully? Then let's take it all the way. I'm not a bully. I'm seeing what you're doing. You're on private property. I already told Lee what I was doing. Well, you told I'm you not on you. private property. I'm you need to go look at the map. Well, I'm telling you you're on private property. How do you know? This is the road. That's the land. That's private property. There's you know, this thing called an easement, right? Yeah. Because I don't have to walk in the street. I, I can walk here. Yeah, That's yeah. why these signs are here. Yeah. You're on private property. How do you think? You hear this, dude? What's that? You hear this, dude? You were perfect. Why is he going to ruin it for you guys? It's not ruining nothing. You weren't on the property earlier, and now you are. I was in the same exact spot. No, you were down the street. Right? Do you know what this is? What's that? A street sign. Uh huh. They can't put their street signs on Amic Farms property. Okay. So this cannot be Amic Farms property because there is a Maryland sign here. Okay. Come on, dude. Come I'm on, Garvey. Talk, I'm not going to give it to you. I'll go. That's Perfect. fine. You got anything on you? Um, not really, no. I got a phone and keys and a water bottle. This is ridiculous, guys. You guys are a joke. Just a business card. That's me, brother. Why are you going in my pockets? 
Oh, what do you? I just told you. A strap. Strap. That's it. That's a lens cap. That might be the lens cap. Is it circular? Oh, the phone. Yeah. So why are you making this difficult? You're making it difficult. Wow. Lady was perfect. I'm not trespassing. You're ridiculous. <laughs> I'll go to jail for it because you're full of. Huh, okay. This there's no way that this is their property. It has a sticker on it because Maryland owns it. They don't stick it on other people's property. You call the plant manager out here and tell you that you're on his well, property. Get the property lines. Right. He's got no idea. How, why are you listening to them? You're the police. Yeah, I know. You don't know. I Clearly, do. you have you no idea. The property. I'm not on their property. I Buddy. So you want me to stand in the street and get a ticket for... Stand across the road. That's their property too then. That's a public road right there. That's a road. So is this. You're not on the road. You're on the grass. That's oh my property. God. You are ridiculous, Garvey. Right. You want me to go on the other side of the street? And I'm going to ask you one more time for your name. I'm not giving it. I'll move. You have a lawful order to give me your you name. You ask me to leave, I'm going to leave. I'll give you a lawful order to give me your name. So what is your name? Note that at this point... Delaware Defender has agreed to walk across the road to where Corporal Garvey assumes the property is public. Instead of allowing him to comply with his own unlawful order, Corporal Garvey blocks his path and demands his ID. Oh my god, I guess I'm going to jail today, that's fine. What is your name? I'm going to jail, it's fine, let's go, I'm not giving it, I'm not trespassing. You can't arrest me for trespassing, because I'm not trespassing. This is not their property. It's not their property, is it? It's, it's an easement. This is county property, city property. It's city you property. Know. I do know. I don't know if it's a county. It looks like a county road sign to me, but that's the junction for the road up there. That's why there's light poles here. They don't own the electric company. Come on, Garvey. There's a public easement. It's probably 33 feet from the center line of the road or 18. One of those guys, are you? Well, it's just facts. Fact. Under Dorchester County's design standards for streets and roads, an adequate right-of-way not to exceed 25 feet from the center of an existing county road shall be required. By using the distance key on Google Maps, we can determine that Delaware Defender was roughly 15 feet from the center line and was not on private property. Despite all that, remember to keep in mind that no authorized agent of Amic Farms has contacted him, let alone asked him to leave. It's facts that there's an easement for people to walk down the street. It's facts. You're not in the street. I don't want to be in the street because I can get hit by a car in the street. The That's why there's an easement. So I don't get property. hit. I'm hey, not. I'm not. What are you doing? You think I'm on their property, Lee? Yes. Then why didn't you do something then? Because you're working were down there at the end of the street. It wasn't your property down there. Down there. Down How? They own the whole thing over there. They have the whole yard. I was right. You know the property lines too? Well, I know where the easements are. There's an easement here. This is not their property. This is their property. What's your name? <sighs> I just want to go to jail, man. You want to go to jail? I guess, yeah, because this is just getting bad. Because there's no way. There's no way that this is their property. Yeah, it is their property. How do they own up to the street? There's a there's a gas line in the road. They own the gas house? line under the road? You own a house? Uh, what does it matter? Uh, you own a house. It doesn't matter. It doesn't? Not to me, no. This has nothing what to do with my house. Your property line runs right to the road, does it? Doesn't but th there's a sidewalk there that people are allowed to use. Oh, that's a sidewalk. Yes, that's a sidewalk. Well, there is no sidewalk. It's exactly. the same idea. Just because there isn't a paved piece of concrete here doesn't mean the same rules don't apply. Okay. I do this everywhere. You do, yeah. I do this all over the place. Typically Delaware, like you've seen. Yep. But the same laws apply. State to state, they apply? Well, easement laws, yeah. I mean, the feetage might be different, but I'm not even two feet off the road here. You were right up here when I seen you. I was standing right by, in line with this piece of wood, right? I mean, I got it on video. I'm still videoing now. And so am I. Well, that's great. Yeah. So you really want it? You want to take me for trespassing now? If I wanted to take you for trespassing, I'd take you. I'm asking so then what are you name. doing? So you're going to take me for failure to ID? Yeah. Well, what law am I breaking? Failure to pay a lawful order. I've given you, told you to give me your name. Maryland is not a stop and ID state, Garvey. You have to accuse me of a crime. That's the Fourth Amendment, just one, flat out. One, you're trespassing. I'm not. You just said I'm not trespassing. No, I said I'm not locking you up right now for trespassing. Why? I just said to. This is ridiculous. Because I'm trying to be easy with you. I don't want. I just want to take my pictures and go. I'm not trying to trespass. I'm not trying to do anything. Stories. Have you ever heard of Free Press? Yeah, I've heard of Free Press. Bang, thank you. That helps me out a lot if this gets ugly. That helps me out a lot. But that's not what your business card says. It does. It's investigative journalists. Journalism is press. 
And it does say on there, free press needs to stay free. You yeah. didn't even, you didn't you even read it. You want me to no, it? you're gonna probably go through my pockets in a few minutes anyway, so. Right, is that what we're going to, Garvey? No. Huh? No, I'm sitting here trying to be nice with you and reason with you, but you wanna be ignorant about it. I don't wanna be ignorant, I wanna have my rights respected. Uh -huh. I'm out here. Huh? Now you are. You're I'm, trying to get my ID and violate my Fourth Amendment. I have every reason. I have a lawful reason to identify you. You're on private property. I wasn't. Trespassing. I wasn't. Then let's go for trespassing. All right, we'll turn around. Oh my God, Garvey. Are you going to give me your name now or not? Well, let's wait till we get in there. Let's see your supervisor says something I about am this. The supervisor. You're the supervisor. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess I will then. Corporal Garvey has now arrested Delaware Defender. He was booked and released almost immediately, and upon his release, he returned to the location, but on the other side of the road where Corporal Garvey said it was okay to be. Arrested in Herlock, Maryland here for standing next to that street sign there. What happened after the arrest is I'm right back out here. I was already, they let me out, and I'm right back out here. He left without incident, and the department waited three months to file charges for criminal trespassing and failure to obey a lawful order. The prosecutor immediately refused to prosecute the failure to obey, but proceeded with the criminal trespassing charge. Delaware Defender fought the case through trial, during which the GIS survey was never considered, though it showed where Delaware Defender was standing was in fact a public easement. However, when Corporal Garvey was on the stand, he testified that no one from Amic Farms had asked to remove him or asked him personally to leave. Garvey did not have the ability to trespass me because no one told him to, and he testified to that in court. The prosecutor attempted to paint Delaware Defender as a police antagonizer during the trial because of his YouTube channel. The uh, prosecutor tried to bring up my YouTube channel that I antagonize officers, things like that. The attorney objected and they threw it all out. It was not relevant to the case or anything of that matter. In the end, Delaware Defender was found not guilty due to the fact that the now promoted Sergeant Garvey had no authority to trespass him. Of course, as we expected, found not guilty. Delaware Defender has now filed a lawsuit for the violations he endured, which will be served to the defendants this week. I will certainly revisit this as the lawsuit progresses. Delaware Defender has not produced any content in quite some time. However, after speaking with him, it sounds as though he may continue his original goal in exposing the effects of factory farming. He will also be the first to bring updates about his lawsuit as it moves forward. So be sure to head over to his channel using the links below and let him know I sent you. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Blackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.